Boss Boys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Boss Boys. Oh, you know the posters. Thank you so much. Boss Boys. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Well, you guys have all, you know, you've made your own classic horror film in your own right with Antlers. I was lucky enough to see that Beyond Fest and absolutely loved it and thought it was well worth the wait. I've been waiting for the movie for a while, you know, with all the delays. Oh, thank it's you, man. It, it's so very good. Um, I want to ask you, Scott, as a director, um, the thing that enticed me the most about the movie is that you did make one hell of a horror movie, but the more emotional weight and the emotional, like, stuff that goes on in the film that's more grounded in reality like these real life horrors that people can come sometimes experience i felt like that kind of drew me in more and the horror kind of happened more organically what was it like for you and your approach to do yeah i'm glad you said that because that was uh precisely my goal and, and quite frankly um uh, who i didn't quite know if, uh, how successful that was because it's it's a difficult balance to strike and it's difficult to to marry my very grounded uh, sensibility with Guillermo del Toro's, um, uh, for sure. I mean, it's it's an ambitious film that's trying to, I think, deal with some very ambitious themes, the kind of fears and anxieties that that we as Americans are all facing now, and there are a lot of them. I don't have to tell you that. And and you know, trying to get that right is uh, was difficult. Uh, and I'm really thrilled that that you you found that it that it that it did because. Uh, I like to tell very human stories, and sometimes the things that we as humans are experiencing are much more terrifying than monsters. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, um, you know, some of the best horror films kind of mix in that kind of like social commentary, this real life uh, issues that we're all going through, and you know, the the horror stuff kind of happens more organically, and it's great, and you did that great. But I mean, there's nothing more terrifying than something that happened in real life, in my opinion. So, oh yeah, I totally handled that very Thank well. You so much. Thank no you very, very much. Uh, Harry, I want to ask you, um, Julia is like a, it's a great part for any actress, I would think, because there's a lot of layers to her. There's a lot of, you know, she springs into action to kind of help Lucas, but she's also dealing with her own emotional trauma and still trying to deal with her past. What was it like for you to kind of discover her and kind of bring that to life on screen? Um, well, I think that's what was interesting to me about getting a chance to be in a horror movie that I, I knew that it was Scott making it. So I knew it would be his sort of grounded aesthetic and storytelling, that intimate storytelling. Um, uh, and it was helpful because there it was so stacked. Like, I, I think um, I love that, that idea of, you know, having left a sibling behind to kind of save yourself is a really painful idea um and then kind of trying to go back and write it and then getting so caught up in this student of hers um pain that reminds her of herself and i think um that was helpful you know story-wise to lead you into the um also because you know it's a horror movie so you have to do those crazy things like show up to the house alone when you know yeah. it's dangerous <laughs> you know and that's not the thing like what are you doing get out of there I show alone but it having the story stacked so much helps you because you can't not go there's a little kid you gotta go help them you know well, you know, they want, I'm wrapping up after that answer, but I'm, I, even this little bit of time with you guys was so great. I just wanted to congratulate you both on the film. It's well worth the wait. I reviewed it for the site oh. and loved it. So I'm very happy for you both. Oh, so thank oh you. thanks. It was so uh, nice to meet you. It means a lot, to, lot yeah. to me. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, take, take care. care. Okay, man, stay safe out there.